because I had been canceled by the Watcher of Realms community. Hey guys, I'm sure coming out today and Watcher of Realms. Welcome to the video, guys. Glad to have you all here today. Send us some positive vibes your way, and I need some positive vibes today, guys. All right, being a little hyperbolic, I haven't been canceled, but there's been one video that I released, uh, gosh, in the early days of Watcher of Realms here on the channel, and I don't want to bend over backwards. I ask only for the strength to defend my video, but I will say... It was one of my first videos when I was just starting out playing the game. I want to be very clear here at the gate. I'm somebody who plays a lot of these games, no matter what channel I'm on, but I am not the wonk of all wonks in these games. I am not coming up with the most in-depth, high-end strategy newsflash to you guys, just in case you weren't aware. The best, the best thing that I do is aggregate and bring on guests of the most effective strategies and advice and tips and regurgitate to them to you guys, right? And of course, share my mistakes like I'm doing today with you guys anyway with all that said i have a video that i released in the early days talking about i think the title of the video was the best defender you've never heard of maybe that last part of it the never heard of part should have been a clue maybe even to myself to yours truly that uh maybe he's maybe that title is accurate Maybe now it's not, because now you've heard of him because it's become a little bit of a meme. Now, why am I making this video on Titus? By the way, you're seeing in the back, I really love this tool. It's on mabucket.com, his website, mabucket.com. Uh, you can map out all the costs, not just the costs of, of all the heroes in the game, but you can search and, and, and kind of filter by faction, by various heroes. You can see them all over here. There's notes on each hero. I really love this tool. You can even look at like their, uh, their special effects, like who has inspiration in the game? Constance, Dolores, and Narvi, right? So you can search by ability and stuff like that. I really love this tool. So anyway, one day in the early days of, of Watcher of Realms, yours truly was thinking about like, dude, what kind of, the best thing I love, I love about these games more than anything I think is discovering or just taking a look at heroes that you know are are not the s tiers that everybody knows right because in reality i mean not everybody has those s tier heroes and there's nothing more infuriating than clicking on a video and they have every hero in the game with all the best gear which hand raised by the way i do that on my raid channel too but that's a little bit different too the game's been around for over five years this one's brand new still anyway i digress hey, if you have any thoughts on any of this stuff i'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below we'll read the comments on today's video too but i noticed that titus was the most expensive unit inside the entire game. I had not heard of Titus before I made the video, right? A cost of 31, because I compared all the costs of every single hero in the game using this tool. And I made this video on, on Titus. I decided, you know what? I am going to max out Titus. And I'm going to see how bad or good this dude is. Does his cost justify any utility at all inside the game? That was the thesis of the video. And I decided that this dude could actually help out uh, a lot of players out there, specifically in Faction Trial, which is the real reason I invested in him anyway, right? Like it was the cost. And I'm like, okay, where am I going to use this dude? Because I don't want to fully promote and everything on a guy who's an absolute bum. Turns out he's kind of an absolute bum. The disrespect. But at the time I needed him in faction trial and guess what? I still use him in infernal faction trials. So I guess in a, in a roundabout way, I stand by, you know, that he's not the worst uh, hero inside the entire game, but you could definitely make that case given his cost. So what does this dude do? He's a defender that costs 31, right? Again, the most expensive unit in the game. And he has this amazing talent where, yeah, he can't be healed. Whoa, stop the presses. This dude is a monster. Can't heal him. Love it. Off to a roaring start here, right? For every six instances of damage taken, temporarily tri triggers this thermal barrier. That uh, decreases damage, excuse me, for 30% for five seconds and restores HP equal to 5% max HP when that thermal barrier ends or refreshes. Now, the good thing about any ep epic hero inside this game and even some rares, right, is it's so much easier to awaken them right obviously it's so much easier to get duplicate epics and you play this game long enough eventually I, i'm curious on you guys do you have any fully awakened epics on your account your entire account do you have any do you have a lot do you have a few let me know in the comments i'd really be curious about that maybe i'll post a community tab poll as well anyway 
the fact that you can easily, well, I say that with quotes, right? More easily fully awaken an epic versus a legendary. It gives epics, unlike the, the other game that I cover, Raid Shadow Legends, it gives epics an immense amount of actual utility with progression because oftentimes a fully awakened epic is better than even a really solid non-awakened legendary, okay? He has, when HP is higher than 50%, gains 20% extra damage reduction. On A3, during Annihilation mode, the generation of speed of thermal barriers doubled. And then on A4, damage Damage reduction uh, plus five percent on a5 when in annihilation mode uh, attacks will inflict burning so he's bringing burning for five seconds as well on a5 now all that being said he's got to have a decent halfway decent kid to justify the fact that he can't be healed. He's got the Annihilation mode. Basically, it's restoring HP per second. So he's healing himself in the Annihilation mode, right? I'm not gonna make this a full review on the dude. I just wanna kinda get to the point here, but I do wanna talk about, in case you missed the video, I'll, I'll save you the time, guys. He has this when receiving a fetal, a fatal hit. A fetal hit too, that might be uh, relevant. I don't know. When receiving a fatal hit for the first time, he has self-repair for five seconds. He comes back with 100% HP and he's 35% stronger more defense and attack it can happen one time dur during deployment so he's got self heals he's coming back from the death with 100 percent hp and he's a little bit tankier as well so you know my case was in the video and here's the video my case in this video was essentially you can use him for artifact material raid progression really right there he is and you can use a cuke or whatever on the platform and it's pretty easy he doesn't need a healer right so it allows you to take down uh the boss in, in stage up to stage 17. i haven't tried him in 18 but he's not going to be your go-to right so anyway this video i say all that to say this i've heard from a few different creators now right streamers in particular right and i'm not going to name any name i like the creators you know i like everybody out there but it's been mentioned one too many times for my liking that i had to make a video addressing it they're like oh like you know viewers for example or whatever or other creators you know they're just like oh yeah that's the dude who thinks titus is good wtf what a noob you know what i'm saying so i'm like you know what i'm gonna make a video and the truth is is i was wrong sort of kind of sort of ish right Number one is there's no way this dude, it, it, for a few reasons, there's no way that this dude justifies a 31 cost in what he's bringing to the table, A, right? Obviously, he's not a good hero. B, he is overshadowed by free heroes that everybody gets anyway. And this is an issue with defend, not even an issue, it's just a fact, I would say, about defenders generally speaking inside the game, right? You get, you know, uh, Olog for free after in Void Rift, right? And then you have, you know, you don't get him for free, but you have awesome defenders like Baron who are a billion times better, right? Than a Titus, right? It just makes it so that there's absolute no reason to use a hero like Titus outside of content where you need a bunch of tanks and you don't have any other than, you know, an Olog or whatever, or particularly in, in faction trials, right? And that being viable just in faction trials or just in niche artifact material raid situations, it's wrong of me to put out a video saying this is the best defender you've never heard of. You know what? And listen, I call him like I see him. There can be some utility in the big fella, Titus. I'm happy that I did a video on him. I'm not gonna delete the video either, but I am gonna add a link to this video uh, in the pinned comment in the description of that video, as well as I, I really wanted to candidly get some feedback from you guys, you know? I've been more careful recently, right? And, uh, I'm still relatively new to the game, right? But I've been more careful. I recently did a guide, for example, on Azoth, who I really love, but I was very sure to really emphasize in that video, yo, not an S tier hero, but a hero you can have a lot of fun with, with an unending, if you will, ultimate or an ever present ultimate, right? So uh, going forward, I think I've learned my lesson, but at the same time, I felt like particularly because this Titus video, the previous one, was kind of affecting my reputation a little bit in the scene, which by the way, I absolutely love. You know, like I haven't heard any like absolute like massive insults because of this. But that being said, it just keeps following me. It's haunting me. The Titus video. I wanted to uh, I wanted to come and clear the air a little bit for you guys. So there it is, guys. I don't need to make this video any longer than it needs to be. I feel like we could go ahead and trot Titus out everywhere in the game. But the truth is he's naked. I took all my gear off him, uh, but I do swap it back on 
when good old faction trials comes back inside the game this game doesn't have that many heroes so you could really say that most heroes are viable in faction trials including the big fetus having titus much love guys thank you for watching until the end of the video i look forward to reading your feedback on this one and as always take care guys